Thank you everyone for coming. This is going to be a exciting virtual event for you because you get to communicate with some current students and they're live on the screen and talk to a lot of the faculty and staff too in the College of Business and Admissions. So we're happy to be here with you tonight. And if you have any questions after this about your application process or anything, you can contact me. Definitely I'll put everything in the chat and I'm going to go over it in a little bit, but I'm going to pass it off to the Dean of the College of Business, Dr. Mark Braskator. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. Hi everybody, I'm Mark Braskator. I'm Dean of the College of Business. And we have a short program for you today. And really what we're doing is highlighting our students today. And the theme of this is a day in the life of a student in the College of Business at Niagara University. What I'll do, I'm just here to welcome you and, and say we're happy to see you this evening. And I'm going to, I have, I think three slides, four slides, and that's only so that you know who's joining us here today from the administration faculty. Uh, so if you have any particular questions about certain things that we can answer for you, you'll know who to direct those questions to. Just throw them out there and, and we'll respond. But then really we're going to turn it over to the students and we really want to hear their perspective on what it really is like to be a student at the College of Business at Niagara University. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here and just to show you again who is with us this evening. Okay. I think we're good, right? So again, I'm Mark Vascator, I'm the Dean, uh, and I'll talk, well, I'm gonna just introduce people who are gonna talk about the College of Business. With us today is Dr. Ann Rensel, as you can see. And Ann, would you just wave uh, on your screen so they know who you are? There's Ann, Ann is in a classroom right now and, and speaking from there. Ann is, if you have any questions about academic programs, uh, all the different majors, certainly you can ask the students that we have here, but uh, Dr. Rensel will also know some of the details about all of the majors. So any questions that you have about those, please do direct them towards Dr. Rensel. Uh, also opportunities like mentoring opportunities, internships, business plan competitions, study abroad, uh, projects, all of that. Ann Rensel can handle all of that for you. We also have Kelly Asklar. Kelly, if you can wave. Kelly is our assistant dean and she handles all things student support and student success. Any questions about transfer credits, academic requirements, things like that, support through graduation, can you double major, whatever, uh, scholarships that we offer within the college, Kelly can help you out with that. And of course, we have Julie Kendella, our Senior Assistant, of Direct, uh, Senior Assistant Director of Admissions. Any application questions, uh, schol university scholarships, uh, visiting, Julie's the one who can handle all of that. So that's just a quick introduction of who our folks are. I'm actually gonna stop sharing now, and I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Retzel, who will take it from here. She'll uh, introduce our students and, and give you a little presentation here as well. So go ahead, Ann. Oh, yeah, thanks, Dr. Prestator. So everyone, welcome. It's always great to see new prospective students and be able to showcase a little bit about our college. What I'm really interested this, this afternoon to discuss with you is and to showcase is our students. So with me this afternoon, I have uh, Sydney Hart. She is a uh, junior and she is a supply chain major. Uh, we'll have to hear a little bit more from her in a little bit. I also have Lexi Hume, who is an accounting major, um, who is uh, close to graduating. And she'll be very interested in talking a little bit about her opportunities that she's gonna pursue in Florida in a few weeks. I have Adam Juswick. Um, Adam is a, a junior, and he is uh, one of our accounting majors again, and he's going to be discussing and telling you a little bit about his study abroad opportunity that he's about to begin. We also have the Cassie Seeley. Cassie is a accounting major as well, and Cassie will discuss one of the many activities that she's had and she's pursued here on campus one of which is she's been the lead on the Buffalo Niagara Business Ethics Competition that, we, that she does a lot of review for the applications there. And she'll tell you more about that as well. We're also this afternoon very fortunate to have with us Avante Walker. Avante is a junior marketing major and he has been, um, he's a light around our college, I guess. And as you'll see, what we're going to, where we're going to start is a video that Avante made for us, which illustrates the day in the life of a college student 
And then after that, we're going to circle back to our students and have them talk a little bit about themselves, what they do. And we're hoping that our visitors will be willing and interested in asking them some questions. So with that, I'm going to share my screen. And I'm going to start the right button here, with the video that Avante created for us. And I think it's a fabulous song. Hi everyone, my name is Avante Walker. I'm a software and business management major. And today I have the pleasure to tell all of you about my experience within the college of business. When I first joined the college of business, I was able to use the concentrations that they put forth, like marketing, management, and accounting, to pick my destination and where I would like to go within the job world. Today I have the opportunity to interview two people so they can tell you about theirs. And we're going to head up right now to speak to Grace. Hi, right, well, we're in the race right now. I mean, where we're standing, she's going to tell us why this is so important to her and what she does on campus. Yeah, so I'm a senior on the volleyball team, and this is Upper Gallagher Center. So this is where I play most of my games and where we have practices as well. And it's really a really nice environment for all of our students to come to support. All right, so you said that you're a senior on the volleyball team. How has your journey been within the college of business? And how easy or hard was it to manage between the both? Yeah, it's definitely a different experience from high school within like managing your time, but with the small classes and like being able to be really personal with your professors, they help you manage your time, whether you're a student athlete or just a student on campus. Okay, so what was your favorite class in the classroom? I would say my favorite class would be Integrated Marketing or Marketing Analytics with Professor Daly. He's just a really personal professor and he makes the subject really interesting. So what do you think you learned the most while being in this college or in your major? Um, I feel like I learned how to manage my time more so now than in high school. It's definitely a different environment whether you live on or off campus and you're more by yourself. So it gives you different experiences. All right, well, thank you. After this, we're going to head over to Anthony. And he's going to explain some of his experiences within the college of business. All right, everyone, now that we heard from Grace, we're going to head over to Anthony in the College of Business, which is also known as Bizgrove, to hear how the College of Business has been beneficial to him and now the students as well. Hi, everybody, we're with Anthony. He's going to tell us a little bit about the building that we're in and uh, about our stuff as well. Yeah, so I'm Anthony. I'm a senior accounting major here in Niagara. Uh, this is Bizgrove, or the academic complex, uh, where most of the classes and offices for the College of Business are located. Uh, we have classrooms down that side, and then our new financial services lab, along with tables and chairs where people can sit and do homework in between classes. Okay, so what would you say is your favorite class? My favorite class? Definitely one of my accounting classes, either auditing or tax. Very great professors and a lot of fun things to do. So has the College of Business offered you any opportunities, like any like work studies? Or like tutoring or anything of that sort? Yes, of course. We have tutors working here all the time uh, in our uh, little areas over here. And then I currently work in the Dean's Office of the College of Business uh, as a work study administrative assistant uh, and where I basically just assist the Dean and professors with anything they need. Oh, that's amazing. So what would you say is the biggest gain that you got from the College of Business? Definitely the people around here. It's been a great four years and a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Okay, well, that's it, guys. This is Anthony, and thank you for watching our story today. Now that we're all done with all the interviews today, I want to say thank you to Grace and Anthony for sharing their experiences with us, as well as I hope to see all of you in the future at Niagara University. See you soon, future Purple Eagles. So, let's say thank you, Anthony. Uh, thank you, Avante. That was, we really appreciate that particular video because it gets an opportunity to show a little bit about our campus but more importantly the, the community that we have here at Niagara. So the next what we figured we would do next to make it more interesting and to give you a little bit of insight would be to, to have some of our students that are with us talk a little bit about their background and what their what they've been doing and where they're expecting to go and just some of their experiences and what they generally do in a day here at the university. So Sydney, I'll pick on you first. Um, 
tell us a little bit about yourself and what a day in your life here at Niagara is all about and what you're expecting to do as you go into the future. Sure, sure. thank you. Thank you. So hi everyone, glad you're here. So I'm currently a supply chain marketing or management major and I minor in computer and statistical analysis. So computer science, basically. Um, I'm a current member of marketing club. I have been fortunate to, enough to have two mentorship programs through the university. One with uh, Health Now for healthcare administration and the other one with a trucking company, Leonard's Express. Um, I've also been selected next semester to be a part of Buffalo News Project, which is a course um, I'm getting three credits for it, but I'm also working with managers within um, Buffalo News. Um, and from my experiences, I've been fortunate enough to also have two internships under my belt right now and to have been hired from my last internship where I was a logistics intern for a supplement company. I work fully remote right now. They have flown me out to Denver and I have plans to go out to Las Vegas for a conference actually within the next month. Um, I'm aiming more towards automotive manufacturing, heavy machinery, and through my classes and things like that, I've been fortunate enough to kind of find that niche that I want to focus on. Um, through the day, honestly, I do a lot of studies or everything, so I'm fortunate enough to have these opportunities in clubs, to classes, things like that. And then I work part-time, like I said, too, about 20 hours a week for a great company. So, Sydney, tell me a little bit, where are you from originally? Yeah, and, so I'm from, and how did you um, form this interest in the supply chain? How did you start your, your, your academic career here at Niagara? And how have you progressed into where you are now? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, so I'm from Syracuse also. Um, for whoever was from Bishop London, I actually went to West Hill, so about five minutes away from you. Um, so I originally started in psychology. Um, I had kind of a background growing up in academia. Both my parents are in the business world. And I thought, hey, maybe I don't really want to do that. I kind of want to explore a little bit more. Um, and I took a business class and I absolutely fell in love with it. And then through my different courses, I originally started as just a regular management major, but that eventually led me to supply chain. And given the global pandemic and everything, it kind of gave me a bigger interest in it. Um, and from there, I, I actually had an internship with CAT, which is Caterpillar, the heavy machinery company. And I love that too. So that's kind of where I'm headed now. Well, that's excellent. So thanks. So to anybody who's joining us from the um, visiting students, if you have any questions for Sydney, please write them in the chat or uh, at the end, you can uh, discuss some things with her. She's got a very interesting background. So to Adam, tell us a little bit about you, where you're from, how you launched yourself into the accounting area, where you want to go, and especially what you're going to do this spring in your study abroad. Hi everyone. My name is Adam, and I am currently a um, I'm currently a junior at NU. Um, got some credits back in high school, so I'm about a semester ahead. Um, I am from Brackport, and yes, I am majoring in um, in the business administration and accounting, and I am also minoring in Spanish. So I got a bit of a full course load going on there. What led me to go into the field of accounting was just because. Well, one of the big things was the variety of different opportunities that it opens you up to. So I find, found a cool little niche with myself working with numbers and I've been interested in the business area. And with that, there are many great opportunities to land a great career. And you can either go into like the public accounting industry, you can go into private. There are a whole lot of different opportunities out there. And in the spring, um, I am going to be studying abroad in Barcelona, Spain for a semester. I leave on the 10th of January and the program ends on the 28th of April. And I am super excited for this. I am going to be staying with the host family and I am going to be going to this school over there called the Autonomous University of Barcelona. And so basically what I'll be doing is I'll be taking some courses over there through this school. and. One of the courses that I'm in particularly interested in is called Art and Architecture, which will give me the opportunity to go and explore other parts of the city too. And it will also give me the opportunity to cover some of my classes here back at NU. And I'm also going to be taking some other business and Spanish courses over there too. And um, sorry, was there anything else that I was missing there with that? So I was just was wondering, how did you decide that accounting was where you wanted to study 
have you always wanted to be an accountant or is this something that emerged after your freshman year? How, how did you end up as an accounting major? So it kind of started for me, well, I guess I just kind of had the general understanding that the business area was all right for me. Um, once I got into high school, um, I took an accounting course. Um, it was just a lot of basics with it. Um, and I also took a number of other business courses too through high school, especially in my senior year. So I would say it was around that time that I really kind of felt that the accounting field was right for me. And especially since it is a rapidly growing field and it is rapidly changing also. And I felt that would also be exciting for me just because I think it would also be nice for me to have a career that allows for a lot of flexibility and it also continues to change a lot over time as well. And so I felt that sort of aspect of it would also be very interesting to me. That's good. So you're really busy, but what do you do in your free time when you're around here on campus or, or not in class? So do you attend any events? Do you go, do you, are you a member of any clubs or what do you do in your other time? So I am currently a member of three clubs on campus. Um, I am currently the, um, the vice president for the accounting society and I am the treasurer for the finance club. And I am also the treasurer for the Lions Club. It's finance club and then the Lions Club International, which is a service organization. Um, it's been a little bit difficult this semester to do as many things as we wanted to still because of the pandemic. But one of the really big things that we do in the finance club is we like to try and go out to other places, other cities to uh, visit different companies and to apply what we learned in the, um, in the finance and accounting area, which the finance club, I should probably mention, is not meant for just specifically finance majors, but it could really just be meant for anyone who has any sort of interest in that area. And the same thing could also go with accounting. But yeah, in the finance club, uh, we also like to try to go out to places like New York City, um, Chicago, and just a whole bunch of other places that are really exciting. Um, in the Lions Club, uh, we have been doing a lot of service activities, um, some of which are there on campus and some of which that are off campus, where for one thing, we were helping with little kids with setting their eye vision. And just because of the pandemic, I would say that was a club that I was the most active in. Besides clubs, I would say, um, Really, I like to try and go to a lot of any events that are on campus, like Late Night Niagara. I know we have a lot of things like that going on for Thursdays and Fridays as well with bingo, um, competition events. I liked that Squid Game event that we had just a few weeks ago for the club. <laughs> I thought that was also a lot of fun, but just a lot of really fun things like that as well I like to be able to go to. That's good, thank you. So Cassie, how about you? So you said you're from West Seneca. I am. <laughs> so West Seneca, not too far from here. I decided to stay local. Um, kind of similar to Adam, I took an accounting class in high school and I really liked it and enjoyed it. So kind of piqued my interest in the subject area and I learned about Niagara's program. And one of the, my big things was I knew I wanted to get internship experience and job, like so eventually land a job in Buffalo. So that was one of the biggest things that Niagara's program um, caught my attention with. Um, I've had four internships through all through Niagara and my last internship, which was with an accounting firm, offered me a full-time position after I graduate. So I ended up doing accounting for my undergrad and I'm currently doing my grad degree in MS finance and studying for my CPA before I start my full-time job next fall when I graduate. But so I have a lot going on, but the journey has been good. And like Dr. Renzel mentioned before, um, one of my biggest involvements on campus is being president of our accounting honor society called Beta Alpha Psi. And as part of that, we do a community service requirement with the Buffalo Niagara Business Ethics Association. So I gather all our members who want to be involved and we get to look through different applications from different companies in the Buffalo Niagara area and they compile these applications based on how they are ethical within their company and within the community. So it's a really cool experience. You get to learn 
you get to apply what you learn in your accounting school to like reading these applications and see how companies actually like work in the real world and it's pretty cool and you get to collaborate with other students and um we get to help pick the winner of the award each year so it's been a really fun experience and yeah <laughs> all right we'll circle back so i want to next call on lexi so lexi and kelsey are i think best friends and <laughs> lexi is a, is use very special to us because she is our accounting tutor so if you come to niagara as a freshman you'll be taking accounting first semester and second semester and one of the things that we like to be sure to highlight to students is that if you have trouble in the class we have resources available and one of the classes that long a few years back we identified freshmen had issues with was accounting so we have lexi and not only is she our accounting tutor but she's heavily involved in a bunch of other activities so lexi tell us a little about yourself all right, so hi, I just graduated with my MBA. Well, I just finished it this semester um, in accounting as well. And yeah, I've been the accounting TA for the past two semesters while I was getting my MBA. So I was tutoring freshman and sophomore in financial, managerial, and then both intermediate accountings. So it was nice. I was also a mentor for a lot of the freshmen. If they were scared to talk to some of the professors, a lot of them reached out to me for different questions. And before I graduated from undergrad, I was involved also in Beta Alpha Psi. I was vice president, so I helped Cassie with a lot of the stuff that she did. I was also in accounting society, and I was the captain of the dance team on campus. So if anybody is dancers, recommend doing that. Super fun. <laughs> and I've had three internships on are basically for accounting. I had two that were private accounting companies that I worked for, one in tax, one just regular accounting. And then I worked in the audit department for Lumpstein McCormick, which is a public accounting firm for the past three summers. And they did offer me a position for them for next summer, but I'm also going to be doing an internship with Disney this next spring. So I leave January 3rd and I'm going to be in the fixed asset accounting department. Of course, fixed asset in Florida in winter when we have snow, she'll be sitting on the beach for four. So yep. <laughs> part of that. So Lexi, um, again, the same question. How did you end up deciding to go into accounting? Was this something that you always had an interest in? This is something that you developed as a freshman? How did you end up where you ended up? Kind of similar to what Adam and Cassie were saying. Actually, both my parents are accountants. And um, so they kind of helped me like decide, like tell me about it and everything. And my brother is too. So it's kind of a accounting family in a way. So I liked, and I always liked numbers as well. And they kind of were just telling me how it's so easy to get a job and get experience and internships and everything like that. Like there's so many options. And like I said, you can move anywhere. So like I, like I have the opportunity to work in Florida so you can really get the job anywhere you want to go. So that was kind of like my push to do that. That's great, thank you. So last but not least, we have Avante. And Avante um, is a marketing major. And like I said, he was the one who developed our video for us and he's so helpful around our college. So Avante, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, where you came from, how you ended up in marketing, a little bit about your route, where you ended up, where you are. Thanks. Uh, yes. Most definitely. So my freshman year, I wasn't in the college of business. I was actually in hospitality and tourism as a sports management major. However, I'm a first generation college student, so I didn't really know what I was getting into. And I just love basketball and a lot of different sports. But when I came to campus, uh, my first semester, I was like, OK, this is pretty cool. But I feel like I can do a little bit more. Uh, I went over to the college of business. I spoke to uh, Ms. Asklar. And I asked her if there was any way that I could potentially like take a course or anything within like management to see if like I like college business more and like pursue a different major and do something different. Uh, after that happened, I took a course. I believe it was like one of the uh, management courses. So I did that and I fell in love with management and I was like, I like this way better. I could see myself working for a company, but also it's more jobs available. If you just have a regular management degree, then as to a sports management degree, I wasn't as limited. So I came over to uh, the College of Business. On top of that, when I did that switch, I joined two clubs as well. I was an orientation leader, but I was also a marketing assistant for uh, OMA. 
And one thing when she stated I was a marketing uh, major, I'm a marketing and management major, so I'm a uh, dual degree major. But one thing that helped me out a lot to pick marketing up as another major is that uh, I, got, I was able to have a mentorship through the College of Business to work with the Martin Group. And my mentor told me that, like, you look like a great marketer, you have great work ethic, and don't just limit yourself to one thing. So while I was on campus, I found other passions and I was able to conquer that as well. Uh, another thing I do on campus, I'm a tour guy, so I'm working on my communication. Uh, I'm also on the task force. I do things for student government, and I'm just developing a lot of different leadership fields, but on top of that, marketing skills, so I can become a better person in both of those positions. So you just don't have to take the, main, uh, the major, but I also had uh, the ability to actually learn while I'm here. On top of that, I've done two different internships. Uh, I've done one for the bank, uh, which is Orange Bank and Trust. I was a portfolio manager, but also I work on the marketing side and the marketing director. So I learned both of those uh, uh, positions. And then I work with the market, Mar Martin Group, excuse me, in Buffalo, which works for Under Armour, NAG University, UB, and other big companies uh, around the United States. So that was definitely a great thing to learn, which is one thing I know I'm not going to want to do. But however, it was a great opportunity to learn what I actually want to do within marketing and management. So that's interesting. So Avante, where are you from originally? Like, first of yes. all. So I'm from Newburgh, New York, which is five and a half hours to six hours away uh, near Mayor's College. Everybody always asks me, why don't you just go to Mayor's? I want to get away from home. And my journey here actually was surprising. I wasn't supposed to come to Niagara University. My two options up here was actually Buffalo and Canisius, which boo Canisius, but uh, I spent the night in Niagara University. I mean, I spent the night in Niagara Falls to go see the falls. And then I found out that there was an HOP program, which I'm involved in, which helps you out financially. If you're from an urban area and your parents don't make enough money and you have a great leadership aspect uh, with you. Uh, and I came to Niagara. It was just family-like. I loved it. I feel like I could actually become something amazing, as you can obviously see. I'm not trying to brag about myself, but I've been given a lot of great opportunities, uh, especially for a person who didn't think it could be anything. Uh, I saw myself doing that here, and it's been that. And I'm happy I made this decision. But yeah, I'm from Newburgh, New York. Yeah, I knew you were from not from the region. That's why I asked that question. So, yeah, yeah so Monty, Monty is, is truly amazing. He's part of our part of our college. And when he graduates, he will be sorely missed for sure. So now that you have a little bit of an idea about our students who are available and the, the breadth of their backgrounds. Um, I was wondering if any of our visitors had any questions that you would like to have one of our students answer. Okay, so based upon what we've done in the past with, uh, with sessions like this, I have some questions that perhaps might spur some questions on the part of our visitors. Um, I guess I would ask um, Lexi, how did you get your internships? I believe you said you had a number of them. Cassie, you as well. How did you get your internships? Yeah, so basically my, when I, I, my first internship was when I was a sophomore and you go to meet the accountants night. Um, you usually go sophomore, junior, senior. You can go as a freshman, I believe too, but they usually start taking sophomores, juniors, and seniors. So I basically, there's a bunch of different like firms and companies from Buffalo that come. And I talked to Columbus McKinnon. That was my first internship. And I did a tax internship there my spring semester of my sophomore year. And then I also talked to Lumsden McCormick, which was the public accounting firm that I worked for for three summers. And I got basically interviews through them. You can apply through Handshake, which Niagara helps you with in your business classes through that by applying there. And so I basically just applied for a bunch of different internships, went through the interview process. All the interviews mostly are done on campus as well. So um, it's very like you don't have to go anywhere if you don't have a car. Career services helps you out. And that's how I got my first starter internships. And then I kind of, I also did one through Waste Management Services, which is about 10 minutes away from here in Lewiston. And that basically same thing, I got offered it through also Meet the Accountants Night. So that's a very good event to go to. And it's also like finance majors go to it too. I'm pretty sure you can get some other business jobs as well, but that's a very helpful. And then basically for my Disney internship, I just applied online. I knew I wanted to work for Disney. So that was like one of my goals for like 
years. So I kind of just applied for that and I interviewed virtually also used career services room. So then it looked professional and everything like that and did multiple interviews through them. So also Niagara helped a lot with helping with my resume, went to career services a bunch of times with them. Also basically did practice interviews with them and talked to all my professors for references, everything like that. Everyone's very helpful to help you get internships. So Kelly, um, I would want I think perhaps the students might be interested to understand how do internships flow into the curriculum that they per, that they pursue in their four years here? How do how do the internships work into their overall curriculum of courses? We have business electives, and within the business electives, we have opportunities. So the business electives you could take a business elective, which could be accounting, management, marketing, finance, or economics course. But the other option is to do an internship. Now you have to be at a junior level, but many of our students take advantage of this opportunity because it will count for three credit hours and you need to have that course or the three credit hours, no matter what option you take, whether it's taking a business course or whether it's doing an internship. Then you go to Career Services who works very closely with you and they come into Dr. Renzel's Management 390 class and help you get started with that and your resume and signing on Handshake and how to navigate that program. And um, all your opportunities are there and then they'll guide you through it and you'll get a job opportunities. You send your job description and, on your, and you're on your way to earning three credits. You can do up to two internships. Yeah, and I'll, I'll also comment that we strongly recommend that all of our students who are in internships get paid for those internships. And a new opportunity has opened up on campus that if you wish to do an internship for a nonprofit who can't afford to pay, there is an opportunity for you to get compensated through a new fund that's been set up at the university level. So if you're interested in business, but perhaps business in the not-for-profit world, we do have the opportunity for you to have an internship there as well. And that's new and it's and many students are starting to be very interested in that. So those opportunities are there, but just if you do an internship, realize that you are getting paid for your time and your effort, which I think is really important for a business student. So Avante, mm -hmm. yes. um, I, you had internships, tell me about yours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so actually, I want to talk on what you just stated. I'm actually, I have had internships on campus actually for Office of Multicultural Affairs uh, as a marketing, I'm a communication and marketing ambassador for the Office of Multicultural Affairs office, uh, speaking at different, uh, can't think of it, Based, uh, somebody help me out here, open houses, there we go. Uh, doing that, also speaking to different uh, speakers that come to campus. So I work with like Angela Rye, Tamika Harris, different comedians. So I got that down, kind of like the negotiation part of everything down. I've also worked at a bank called Marsh Bank and Trust, like I stated before. Uh, and that just helped me figure out like if this is the type of world for me, but also if I just want to be a person that sits at a desk or if I want to be a person that actually goes out and market their company, which I think I'm more on the marketing side. So that helped me out a lot and also with the marketing group. Uh, another thing I'd like to touch on again is that I'm working with the marketing department on campus actually as an intern, and I will be receiving $2,000 through that as well, which is really cool to know that like I'm learning extra things, but at the same time getting paid for it because it's a not-for-profit and I'm still able to get that financial abundance. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, and, and also because you're being paid, I think there's a sense of value and we want our students to realize that when they're working for firms, university or other firms, that we value in their skills and knowledge are extremely valuable and our work being compensated for. So it's, it's, a, it's a view that we have and we, this has been something we've done for many years. So it's a good opportunity. So um, Cindy, question for you. Um, transfer credits, did you bring any transfer credits in from high school? How many? What kind of areas, what did that, uh, did any of that facilitate your moving through your program or? Yeah, absolutely. So I brought in um, two, two different classes from Syracuse University that I did through my high school. And then I brought in two from a community college also near me in Syracuse. 
Um, and those were very, very helpful. So it was nice to know that I got two gen eds out of the way and then two of my major course um, requirements done too, which actually led me to being a um, full semester ahead. And then from there on, I took um, six classes a semester just because I thought, hey, the more I take, I'll get through it faster. Maybe I'll graduate a whole semester early, start my master's, um, which was originally my plan. And I was really fortunate to be able to have those credits be able to transfer to because I really felt like I did have a leg up. And then I was eventually a full, sem um, full year ahead, which actually I am right now, but I since added my minor and I'm thinking about adding another as well. So that will set me back again but I really enjoy being on campus that I am willing to stay for another year and kind of continue my education, continue my studying. Um, Cause I really, I really do love it. That's great. Okay. So we have, um... there's a question there. I'm not sure if you saw that Ashley had a question that maybe Lexi can uh, answer. I don't know if you saw it yet. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. I can answer that. Or do you, you got it? Yeah, I got it. Okay, great. So the Disney College program, you have a few different options for that. So I'm technically not in the Disney College program because since I've just finished my MBA, so I'm all done with college. I'm just doing a full-time internship with them. But you can, if you do the Disney College program, they have something called Disney University down there, which for me, I'm just going for a day to learn about like the history of Disney. Um, they make you do for any interns, but you can take classes there through the Disney College program. So like you can take like any type, like depending on your major, they have business classes there. You can take like certain gen eds there that transfer there. So essentially there's also like a Disney college program. Like they have different, different events on campus too that you can go to um, to like basically set up your schedule for what you wanted to do. So you don't have to fully take a semester off of college. I waited till I graduated just because it worked better for me. That's why I ended up graduating a semester early just so then I could go down there and just either stay down there if I want or come back. That's just what worked best for me. But I knew a lot of people that did them during their four years of college. You can do that. You can just like basically plan out. It's kind of similar how if you did like a study abroad, how Adam was saying how he's taking certain classes down there to still graduate on time. You can do the same thing. It's just called through Disney University. And you also with the Disney College program, they put you in a spot to stay as well. So all the Disney College program students are all like together in this specific spot that Disney offers you. So it's pretty easy to um, essentially like you don't have to find an apartment on your own. They can put you right in there and they also do different events just like on a college campus as well. Like they have they can transport you to Disney University. They can also do like different like how like Adam was saying also like like late night Niagara events like that. They do the same exact thing with the Disney College program as well. Like every Thursday night they do events with all the college students and basically the second part, how you want it to do for the rest of your life. Um, basically when you're in like the program and you're taking the different classes, you kind of see what classes you like better. Like for accounting, I realized I liked auditing and fixed assets just by taking the other classes. Like you had to take tax and audit. And I just realized I didn't love the tax and I took a tax internship as well. And I didn't really love it as much as the audit one. So that's kind of how um, you do that. And when you change your major, you don't necessarily have to always pay more. It's pretty easy to just change your major and pick up the classes since a lot of the classes overlap. I know some of my roommates have changed their majors a few times and they really haven't had an issue with staying like later or anything like that. They've been able to still graduate on time. Uh, I'll chime in just a little bit with the fear about um, if you change your major. The way our curriculum is structured is that in the first and second year, freshman and sophomore years, you're taking pretty much the same courses of everybody else in the College of Business. So that if you, and in addition, in your freshman year, you get a course in accounting, you get a course in marketing, you get a course in management. You don't get a course in finance, but you get financial accounting, but you get economics. So in our, your initial year with us, you get a broad view of all of the opportunities of the different disciplines. And then you start to have some, some interests, I think, emerge. So I think I'm gonna turn it over to Avante because He's one who has certainly worked his way around until he has found something. So Avante, how would you, you would say, how do you know what you want to do with the rest of your life? And how did you handle getting through and figuring things out as you came in as a freshman? Uh, yes. So definitely for me, it was a little bit harder because like I said before, I came from a different uh, college on campus. But when I came over, like she said, prior like those regular first classes that you're able to take it really 
allows you to learn a lot about yourself. So like basically everyone else is saying like I've taken courses and I was like, oh, that's not really for me. And then I finally realized, that, okay, management, I could see myself doing this. I'm doing uh, per se, my last class I've just taken, we had to do something for recycling. So it was for e-waste, reusable uh, compost and other things. And we had actual people come in, we had to interview in front of them. So I got to understand like, you know, I'm actually a good like presenter. Uh, I'm good with my communication. I could do this, I could do that. And then also gain these uh, abilities to do different things in marketing, like making posters, uh, going out communicating with people to talk about whichever program that I'm running. Uh, those things help me a lot pick what I want to do in my future. And I feel like that was very helpful. And you'll always get those opportunities on this campus if you actually work for it and try. Thanks, Monte. Sydney, you also moved around a little bit. And I think you have a little bit different future focus. How did you determine or how did you find your way to what you want to do with the rest of your, what you think you want to do with the rest of your life right now? Not that that's not going to change, but right now, how do you think? Yeah, absolutely. So like I said, I kind of grew up in the, with my parents in business, I grew up in the academia world. Both of them are professors actually, um, and in business realms. So um, I, I would say my internship experiences were definitely the most helpful. Before I even got out of high school, actually, um, I was part, I was fortunate enough to be a purchasing intern in my county back in Syracuse. Um, and I honestly realized that I just did not like it. <laughs> I, I don't have that kind of math and number sense, and it just wasn't for me. Um, but then, like I said, too, with psychology, I took a couple psych courses, thought, hey, I love this, but I did want to see what else was out there. Um, so then starting to actually get into the business field um, and take those original classes, it was a bit discouraging, I will say, because you do have to take those base level classes that you don't really know if they're for you and that kind of thing. But when you start to get more into, like when I finally found management and I started taking like the integrated management, I took HR, I took all those courses, I feel like that's really what I love. Um, and also kind of gaining those relationships with your professors and your advisors. I was able to kind of pick their brains, talk to them, say, okay, I'm interested in this, this, and this. How can I get there? Or what can I do to incorporate those skills or those tasks that I enjoy into kind of a career path? Um, I also kind of grew up in the automotive world. My father, um, super into cars. So I kind of grew up with that love internship with Kat. I realized I liked that operations, logistics, heavy machinery, um, that kind of thing. And same thing, I mean, I do work with supplements right now and I absolutely love it, but it's not necessarily for me. I'm still having a great experience, but I realized, okay, I'm trying this out. Yes, I love it, but that's not really where I want to head. That's good. So I will also comment, just so our visitors are aware, Avante had, an, had a final exam this afternoon that ended about 20 minutes before he jumped on with us. And Sydney is facing a final exam at six o'clock tonight. So these are students who are talking to you and this is, we're in the middle of finals week. I have the final tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. So this is how our life goes, but we still contribute and we still make the most we can of the opportunities. So um, Adam, I was just curious for you, you're, Accounting, you are going away on your um, study abroad. What do you want to do after graduation? So um, I'm still kind of a bit in the process of exactly thinking what area I want to go down. So I know I kind of mentioned that I'm like a grade level junior earlier. It's kind of more like sophomore, junior, how you look at it. I'm about a semester ahead in credits. Um, and I also have, I'm still looking into um, exactly what kinds of internships I would like to take to be able to look, to be able to decide what I want to do. But so far I have, from my um, auditing and tax courses, which I've been taking this semester, I've been able to start getting some sort of idea where I think I would like to take a closer look at both of those areas, auditing and tax, to see what area would be more interesting for me. And I think personally, I might be leaning a bit more onto the auditing side of things just because I feel like um, it would be a really great experience for me as well to be able to go out and to meet with other clients. And if I were to be with the larger company as well, like say with one of the big four firms where they also might have their employees go out and like to other parts of the world to 
work with clients that they have over there as well, I think would be a really great opportunity. And that's kind of something as well. I mean, there are many reasons why I wanted to study abroad, but that's just kind of one of the many as well as I felt that doing the study abroad program would be something for me to show with that also. And with my study in Spanish, I saw that as a great opportunity as well to distinguish myself from some of the other um, candidates that I might have to go up against when I'm going out, when I am, um, I'm sorry, <laughs> um, when I'm going to be um, competing out in the uh, job market. Um, yeah. That's good. So we're getting toward about 4.50 or so. I'd like to do a real quick round robin among you, among the students here. What's your favorite part of NU? Lexi? I would probably say my favorite part of NU would be all the people and all the opportunities. Like even like I've made so many friends here, like you said, like Cassie as well. And also just also became really close with all the professors too, since um, it's all small class sizes, they have become good mentors for me. And I've been able to talk to them about things other than school and everything like that. And I've definitely found my lifelong friends here and basically so many opportunities with jobs too. What about you? What's your favorite part of it? Um, my favorite part is definitely like the family feeling of being here and like how nice everyone is and how it's so easy to get involved in everything. Lexi kind of mentioned too, like she was on dance line. Like I did a bunch of different club sports in addition to all like my academic clubs and stuff and the professors too. Like you have a lot of the same professors throughout the years, especially in the College of Business. So you really get to know them and you really start to like form those mentorships and like um, close relationships with them and they helped me get my internships they helped me through school and even professors I had freshman year if I had help needed help with something my senior year on accounting like they would be the first one to help me like they would never turn you away and it's just um, a lot of great people a lot of stuff to do a lot of activities but yeah definitely like the family feeling. Great. Adam how about you what's your favorite part of NU? Really, Cassie kind of just just kind of summed it up for me. It's really the family feeling here that you get at NU and how it is really super easy to get to know everyone. And same thing with the professors. Um, um, I know all the professors that I've had so far have been very friendly, um, very entertaining and very helpful with me along the way. Um, and I know, especially with some of those classes, like for example, with Spanish, I've had the same exact professor for the past three semesters, and would this be my third semester here? So you definitely have a lot of time that you spend with working with some of these semesters too, or not semesters, with these professors to get to know them as well. So yeah, again, it's just really that family feeling. Excellent. Avante, what about you? What's your favorite part? We can't hear you. Uh, talk a little closer to the microphone. <laughs> okay, I'm trying now. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, you can hear. I know my face is like all in the screen. I'm, I apologize. <laughs> uh, one thing that I'll say is just to reiterate family. Uh, one thing is I know everyone who's on this call as an advisor slash professor and I feel like our connection is so close that when I leave this university, if I actually need like per se any guidance in life, any mentorship after I leave, I know any one of these people on this call will help me out. Also around on campus, Office of Multicultural Affairs, uh, our student government, all different other offices like our campus ministry, you can really become heavily connected and when you do so, every person on this campus is willing to work with you and they're willing to really build those relationships to see you become successful. And I always say this to students, would you rather just go to Harvard, Yale, Cornell and get that 4.0 and leave and not know anybody? Or would you rather go to Niagara University and come here and get probably like a 3.25, 3.5, but have a heavily networked lifestyle? Uh, and I'd rather take that any day. And that's one thing I always tell students when I'm on tour, uh, giving them a tour of the campus, is that one thing that I really gained from this school is just learning to be myself, uh, but also going through my education with a lot of help, small court, small class sizes, uh, networking, and hey, I just got a suit through Niagara University, so that's amazing. 
uh, they just really are here for you and they'll accommodate for you and they really want to see you become successful. So family is a big thing on this university. So hopefully all you become purple egos. I don't know if I'm the last person, but uh, most definitely family. And Sydney, what's your favorite part? Excuse me, part of NU? Yeah, um, so honestly, it would be kind of to, re to, re to reiterate. Um, I was originally deciding between Syracuse and NU, um, but the size of the school was probably my biggest deciding factor just because it is so small and same thing, it's so close knit. Um, I didn't know anyone that was here prior to myself. Um, fifth generation Syracuse kind of always had that, but as soon as you kind of get on the campus, and I know it's different because we're virtual, I wish we were all in person right now, but you just kind of feel it. Um, and then when you finally get started to get into your classes, you get to learn what you like and what you don't like, honestly, you kind of get to find yourself and find your own person. And that's just a really great feeling and you will absolutely get that on this campus. Okay. So do we have any other questions from our visitors? So Avante has had to go because I'll probably get dinner. I really would like to let Sydney go because she has to prepare for an exam. So with that, I would say thank you for visiting. If you have any questions, please contact us. Um, contact information, can it go in the chat real quick, somebody? Yes. Thank you and have a very, very nice holiday. And I hope your semester ends up as well as our students' semesters ending up. <laughs>